Can it record already? I got a tea time at 1.30. I'm going to miss it. I'm recording. <laughs> you are? Oh, well, hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Movie Phone. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Sam Boner Show. Alongside here, my good friend, Mr. Colin Thompson. One second, my dog has to go out back. You're good. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Well, start it. Start it. Just a gold moment here in the McKenzie household. Start it. Just restart it right here. You're good. Start what? The restart show? This. Yeah, because we can. Edit, we'll just edit this out. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Happy Tuesday, March twenty first. Another episode of the Sam Boner Show is underway. I'm Sam Boner Mick, as always, alongside my good friend, Mr. Colin Thompson. How are we doing today, Colin? I'm doing great, Mick. Fired up. Got to keep on Sam Boner, though. That's for damn sure. Oh, my God. All the momentum in the world, baby. So do we. We're three weeks into Cheesesteak Month, season four, 4.0, as I'd like to say. Dude, I've hit my three. I hit the three spots that I wanted to hit. But I think I'm due for at least one more. Actually, I'm I'm sand boning with some some sand boners tomorrow, and then hopefully I'll get out one more time at the end of the week next week to put a little recap on it. But uh, so here so here we go. I hit Delco. Well, no, I always hit Delco, not Delco. I hit uh, I hit Berardi Brothers, the new the new buzz over in Southampton. They're knocking it out of the park. Berardi Brothers, definitely in the nines. I hit Loretta's Cafe down in Bristol. They're slinging those semolina rolls. Another big, big buzz here in 2023. And then I just recently hit the the food truck craze, Gazzo Steaks in Pottstown, PA. Colin, these three cheesesteaks fresh on the scene here in the, the cheesesteak capital of the world. Holy shit, man. Let me just tell you, some of the best cheesesteaks I've ever had. Man alive, as Mick would say. <laughs> I think I think that's the best part about cheesesteaks, right, is you're going to continue to find. People are going to continue to adapt. Highly competitive environment. It's cheesesteak month, and it's and and like you said, they're smoking the cheese. There's different vibes. It goes back to the simple things, though. Good rolls, good onions, right? Good. You gotta have the right proper stuff. So yeah, uh, and we're, yeah, and we're fresh off. Of, we're fresh off uh, an unbelievable episode with the legend himself, Mister Danny from Angelo's Pizzeria. If, if you guys have not given a just a 30, 40 minute listen to the the latest episode of the Sam Boner Show, do yourself a favor. I mean, that guy wears it on his sleeve when it comes to just pure passion around making cheesesteaks, baking bread. Holy shit, man. He is the epitome of it. Uh, Colin, real quick, talk to us about your experience in England. That was it? Passionk steaks. I'm going to get that wrong, right? That's one of those Northeast words that everybody screws up. Passionk steaks. Passionk. <laughs> Passionk. Passionk. Uh, it was tremendous. Passionk Avenue is a bar. There's two of them. The original is in just a little north of downtown London. And it's a small dive bar, four seats at the bar, one high top in the middle of it, maybe five tables. It is small, quaint, and wall-to-wall Philly memorabilia. I mean, stuff that you wouldn't even imagine, right? Memorabilia to us wouldn't be a school ID from a Philly city school. But memorabilia, when you're over there and you've got your school ID in, you slap it up on the wall – that's the type of stuff they have there. Just cool, archaic. People are hand painting things, giving it to them. And then they have another location. There's a there's a speakeasy in the basement. That's literally like someone's basement in South Philly. It's incredible. It was closed when we were there, but I peeked my head in. And then there's another location that fits like 500 people. So supposedly NFL Sunday there is crazy. They had the Penn State game on the volume there, which I thought was really cool. Um, and all the places down there, like they don't have like in London, there's no like you don't sit at the bar in London. You sit at a table and you go order your drink at the bar. Oh, there's no really? bar. There's no bar stools. I thought I saw DJ Andy Sambone from that same spot. He did, but he if you looked, he was standing on the high top we were sitting at with the with the camera facing. <laughs> so it's definitely unique. DJ Andy, shout out. So great dude. Nothing beats a nice hole in the wall, man. Honestly, in London too, you know. And I thought there'd be more of them. It was pub. Don't get me wrong, vibe. But this place, this is where I was the happiest. I had a blast there. Don't get me wrong. Good food, good drinks, good people, but. That's Young Avenue, dude. Tremendous. And a yeah. really good cheese that people gave me shit. Uh, I get it. I understand it. We're in London. But it blew me away, man. Cheese take month. Like it did. Like for being over there, I was shocked. It's a nine, it's a nine one on the London scale. You know, it's I'm amazing. Like, it's amazing. It's amazing. I mean, like, like I said, folks, the, the momentum right now is at an all-time high. Cheese steak month will do it for you. Uh over the weekend, caught some guys, Sam Bonin. 
the the groom himself, Sam Bone, in 15 minutes before he walked down the aisle at church, getting his Sam Bone fix on. Another guy was in uh, Columbus, Ohio, doing some Sam Bones right before a March Madness game. I mean, this thing has. Heck, like, have you ever walked up on anybody Sam Boning before? <laughs> uh, no, but over the weekend, over the weekend, I got some 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 dude at the bar. I was talking to my buddy and I looked over to the right. I, I kind of had this sense. This guy was just maybe spotted me or was a fan of the page. He started talking to his buddy. He didn't point, but he just looked at me. I'm like, I got probably recognizes me. I don't know why, but anyway, I went back to my table and I was really curious as to why he kept looking at me funny. So I kind of gave it a little, like, I just want to look over this guy's shoulder to see what he is showing his buddy. <laughs> and sure enough, he was, basically scrolling up and through the the sam boner page introducing the sam boners to his buddy at the bar i'm like holy shit man this is nuts <laughs> man alive man alive man man alive but yeah mvp is up for grabs folks we got two strong weeks here left in cheesesteak month big 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 day for the sam boner sam boner show friday this friday at the gall and company the malt house in port richmond we'll be performing a live podcast live show happy hour drinks giveaways just good fun good camaraderie come out show a face with the name if you can uh this is all new territory for us but we couldn't be more excited to just get out there in the public and and you know raise a glass with you folks and just get after it so again please come out to the gong company we labeled it four to seven you want to party into the night let's do it <laughs> do it baby i'm i'll be in, i'm excited man i'm, I'm a, we're gonna uh, drive up and spend the night in Cape May, a couple nights in Cape May. I'm going to go up and back from kind of Cape. So I'm going to be able to hit my spots down there, my cheesesteak spots down there that I've been really jonesing to get to and uh, thought I'd get to earlier, but it's going to be perfect. Cheesesteak month. I'll finish out strong there. I go to Charlotte. I already did Cheech cheesesteaks at the end of the month. I hit that. I'll be in LA early April. So maybe, it, you know, it won't be cheesesteak month. Now there's no rules, folks. You can stand on anything, but I'm going to try to find the best cheesesteak in LA early April as well. Dude, there's some gems out west. Honestly, there's some gems. But no, I think I think we're going into at some point, which is coming soon here, as we're going to have our first guest on here in a little bit, and Mick will introduce him. Is next March maybe a bracket for the best cheesesteaks outside of Philadelphia? And I think there people are really ripping it up. Like when it comes to cheesesteaks, it's a challenge now from some Philly tra transplant because it's built in. Philly people are everywhere. If you have a Philly bar in some town. We've talked about them in Charleston. We've talked about them in Key West. We've talked about them, you name it. And in London, they're packed because it's either you know a friend from South Jersey, you are from South Jersey. So it's fun stuff, man. I'm excited for it. Yeah, like I always say, Cheesesteak Festival 2024, best of the best in every state. <laughs> Fire up the bus, baby. North Dakota, here we're here. Yeah, yeah. No, so uh, we, we do have a, a guest uh, coming on, a gentleman by the name of Steve. Steve Reynolds, the COO of Delco Steaks. There he is. What's up, dude? What's up, Sam Boners? Yeah. <laughs> Look, he's, he, in, in pure Sam Boner fashion, Steve comes on from the Sam Boner Mobile. Who are you, Sam Boner, today, buddy? My oh, man, this is yeah. This is the this is the Delco Steaks office right here, right in the car, <laughs> right in the car. Oh man, that's every uh, dude. That's everybody's office when you're out Sam Bone, and nothing, nothing better. Man, appreciate you jumping on the call today, or not the call, the the podcast, the show. Who gives a shit, right? We're out here having fun, chopping yeah. it up. Steve couldn't be more happy to have you on today. Uh, where are you calling from, man? Are you are you at the shop? Or are you just I'm right out, out yeah, at the mall shop right now, right outside in the parking lot? Right. So so so, little context for everybody. Steve, COO, Delco Steaks. Locations in Folsom, locations in Broomall. You guys were once in the Wells Fargo Center. What else am I missing there, Steve? Yeah, we we uh, were in the Wells Fargo for one year. Then we got a location in University City. So we uh, we just opened up there in December. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Like what? Like Drexel area? Uh, being right closer to Penn on Penn campus. Okay. Okay. Is that open yet? Yeah, it opened in uh, December. So. Uh, we're right on Walnut Street, right at uh, Franklin's table. That's that's awesome, man. Now, now, any uh, any ambitions to get into like Citizens Bank Park or the Lincoln Financial Field? You know what? Uh, we tried the Wells Fargo. Um, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, one year was enough for us. It's more of an advertising thing. Um, got our name out there. Then 
we were able to finally get in, uh, our own place in the city itself, uh, we decided to just go that route and get out of Wells Fargo. Steve, Delco Steaks, it's a staple in this area. What drew you to the company? What's your affiliation with it? How'd you get started with it? Yeah, so um, me and my brother, his business partner, John, grew up in the Marple Newtown area, Newtown Square, Broomall, Delaware County, and uh, decided one day to open up a cheesesteak joint. Um, and Oh, no. Uh-oh. Technical difficulties here, folks. Everything's excellent. We're going to wait for him to come back. Oh, yeah. Here. Oh, there we go. Sorry about Steve, that. Steve, can you start the story over? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, so, yeah, we started um, about three – we just came up on our three-year anniversary. We opened up the day of the stay-at-home order in Pennsylvania during COVID. Uh, we were very, real fortunate to be able to uh, really push through that. Uh, people are home. They wanted to try something new. We knew there was a need for a standalone cheesesteak joint. Um, in this part of Delaware County, you got the pizza shops all there putting out good cheesesteaks, but we want to stand alone just the cheesesteaks, chicken cheesesteaks, the bare minimum, and do it good, do it well. Uh, we got the Karangi CD Roll, pure 100% ribeye, uh, the Cooper Sharp, uh, and it's just been a, a crazy run. Did not think it would be blowing up like this, uh, but, you know, when you got great employees, great customers, great following, man, it just takes off. Yeah, do you guys have a do you guys have a mini golf course behind one of your locations? Yeah, at uh, our Folsom location. So it's the old Charlie's Hamburgers location. Okay. Uh, we went there to uh, open that up, and we walked around back, and we saw an abandoned mini golf course. And we're like, hell, dude. We so when's the first? The- when's the first mini golf tournament? T stakes and mini we golf, baby. A- yeah, we got it. We got to do a Delco Open soon. <laughs> is that what they call it there drinking cheesesteaks and mini golf is that the delco open that's it man that's it yeah <laughs> steve so, what's your go which um go ahead mick no you got it you got it what's your go-to you know when you go in behind a counter there like that's a real like for me right if you go into family business i'm fortunate my parents have family businesses right you, you ins and outs you know you, you know what you like you're not going for the mainstay you're going for a little bit different is there is there an off menu item that you're going to or are you just going with the solid cheesesteak when you're hungry for lunch I'm going with the solid cheesesteak. I mean, especially with the Cooper. I mean, I know everyone's hyping up Cooper Sharp, but it's really it's, it's that creaminess. Now we do some. I don't know if anyone else does it. We shred our Cooper Sharp. We put it through a shredder, and this way it it um, goes on nice and easy, and it melts throughout the steak. Um, and we've been doing that for about a year now. Uh, but. It's uh, something again. I don't know if anyone else does it, but it's it's been key for us. No, you guys, you guys. That's cool that you guys continue to keep it unique. And, and that news, I didn't even catch wind of that news that you guys. And if this is personal, correct me, correct me in my tracks. But you guys acquired Karangi Bakery. Is that correct? Yeah, we did. Yeah. So uh, Luke, Dude, Karangi, that's incredible. Um, he we we created a relationship, but we started out with Concha Hawk and Bakery rolls back when we opened during the pandemic. And then we were like, you know what? We, we want to be, we want to set ourselves apart. So we we're like, let's do a, a seated roll. Everyone's doing it now, but we, uh, we went and we talked to Lou Karangi Karangi. We had a relationship with him for a couple of years. He was looking to get out, um, came to us. We're like, Hey, for, for us wanting to expand, we want to be, be able to have that control of that bread. And uh, we've been doing that for uh, almost a year now. It's been awesome. Dude, Karangi does a bang up number and they serve. So I, I guess they'll continue to serve a lot of the, the locations throughout Philadelphia and the outskirts, like the, the John's Roast Porks of the world, the Cafe Camarles of the world, Philly cheesesteaks and Berwyn uses Karangi. There's a lot of people out yep. there using Karangi. How's that all yeah. work? It's awesome. And, you know, we, we went, when we took it over, everyone, word gets out. We own Delco Steaks. So we went out, hey, this is Karan. This is separate. This is Karangi Bakery, and you know, we're not here to compete. We're not here to make your rolls worse because you got John. Like, listen, no one else uses Karangi even around us. Uh, Pagano's, uh, a couple towns over Drexel Hill, they do a great job with hoagies. They use Karangi, but we're not here to compete um, with our bread. I mean, we want everyone. We, we want that need to get out there. And I mean, John's roast pork, and those guys are top notch. So, mm. it's been a great relationship so far. Mm. 
Yes, they are. Yes, they are. So we have a Delco episode coming up that we're very excited about. Once a month, twice a month at the Sam Boner Show, we're going to be featuring kind of like a travel podcast. So if you're rolling into Delco and you're, you're, you're driving to the Jersey Shore and you see, hey, Sea Isle on our podcast or Cape May or Key West or Delco and you're going there and you need a guideline because people always ask Mick. They're starting to ask me a little bit now. What's Mick say or what the Sam Boner say? Where to go? Where to get the best cheesesteak? Where to get the best hoagies? You guys are the best, if not the best cheesesteak, one of the best cheesesteaks in Delco. But for other places to eat in Delco, again, maybe I don't, you don't mention any of your competitors, but places that we should be shouting out for really good places to eat in that area. Yeah, I mentioned it. Pagano's is, is, is huge for specialty sandwiches, chicken cutlets. They're awesome. Can't go wrong with a cut above down the street from us, great oh, friends yeah. of us. Uh, Luigi Giovanni Colonial Village Market. I mean, it's just a great place. Marple Public House, uh, new bar uh, in Broomall. Um, I'll tell you what, man. I mean, it's just there's so many good spots around here. And you, know, you open up a spot, you don't want to really, com- you know, we, we opened up and people are like, oh, you're competing with the pizza shop a couple doors down. It's like, you no, know, you have a preference. You know, we're not here to steal business from anyone. People love the food in Delco. I mean, it is just, it is just, it's unbelievable. There's so many good restaurants and I know you guys follow the Delco restaurant review page. Absolutely cutthroat. People just bash one another. Bash one. <laughs> Listen, if you don't like Delco steaks, that's your opinion. Um, there's so many people that love it. Uh, if you don't like the pizza shop down the road, the restaurant, Italian restaurant, it is what it is. I mean, people, have their palate, they have their preference, um, and that's the great thing about Delco. Man, people, ah, are, absolutely, know, absolutely. People are you from Delco, ruthless. dude? Are you from Delco? I'm from Del- yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, like, what, like, what is it though? Like, you know, like we, Colin and I talk about this all the time. Like, you, you go down, I go down to the Jersey Shore, right? I'm a Sea Isle guy. Like, there's no other county but Delco representing Delco <laughs> hanging off like your beach deck. Like, how did that come about? Yeah, man, it's it is crazy. Delco, it's just I mean, that's why we got the name and, and the name carries us. Obviously, we wanted to put a great product with it, which we have. Uh, but I mean, Delco, I mean, you, you go anywhere across the country. I, I went to college down in Delaware. <laughs> Once, oh, Delco, you're from Delco. <laughs> I mean, these people are from Boston. They know Delco. It's just it's wild, man. But uh, we are just just epitomized Philadelphia. And we have our own little thing in, in Delaware County. Uh, but. Yeah, now, you, you don't got like a, us, we, we don't care. I mean, it's now you got a good thing going, man. It's a, it's a great brand. It's a great following. Uh, Steve, talk to us about. I think you have a big event coming up this Friday, right? The Cheesesteak Bowl, is it? Yeah. What the heck our, is the Cheesesteak Bowl, man? It's our third annual Cheesesteak Bowl. So we have professional. Um, when I say professional, they're competitive eaters somewhere in the wing bowl. Um, and we have amateurs, just your re- re- regular average Joe coming out to compete. Uh, they have the opportunity to see how many uh, of our 12 inch uh, ribeye Cooper Sharp seated roll cheese sticks they can eat in 10 minutes. Um, and it is an awesome event. The people that you know are listening to this, you have an opportunity to come out. It's actually at the Marple Public House in Broom Mall, right around the corner from our shop. Um, you're going to be a lot of great food, beer specials, we're selling cheesesteaks there, but it is just pure gluttony. Cheesesteak cheese is down their, their face. I mean, it is just absolutely <laughs> awesome. The champ. All right. Oh, gonna, look at this championship belt. All right. A little bit of, a little bit of bling here. The gold we're chain. We're not messing around here. here. Uh, cash thousand dollar cash prize in the past we've given away Caribbean trips, uh, gift cards, apparel. Um, it is just an awesome event, um, and we're trying to you know the wing bowl stops yeah. back in eighteen, so we're trying to yeah you know, we're not at that level yet, but we want to get to that level to where the cheesesteak bowl is something that is uh, renowned around the Philadelphia area. Uh, we're getting to that point. Obviously, we have a lot, long way to go. It's our third one, but uh, we have a lot of guys that come back to eat. We have our professional eater, Dan the Killer Kennedy, traveling five hours away trying to get his three-peat. Uh, but it's it's an awesome time, man. What's the number? So he ate uh, eight cheesesteaks in 10 minutes. Because <laughs> um, I was kind of excited because I'm kind of notorious on the Sam Boner page as a pretty fast eater. I'll crush – 
I'm thinking, all right, I'll probably get to do five, eight. Yeah, eight. it uh, let, last year came down to him and this girl Molly Shiler from the Wing Bowl. Um, girl probably weighs 96 pounds, and they were neck and neck. Um, now year one we did who can eat our biggest our two foot King Delco, the fastest. He ate it in a minute 33 seconds. Oh, um, so, so Steve, give a give a quick look, plug. Give a quick plug. When when does this start? How long does it go? How do people enter if they can? Give us the whole. Yeah. So we're still accepting uh, entries. Uh, email us at info at delcostakes.com uh, to uh, enter. Uh, we'll send you all the information. It's 6 p.m. this Friday at Marple Public House, 31 North Sprawl Road in Broomall. Uh, it's going to be a party. DJ, a lot of food, beer specials, a lot of beer vendors going to be there. Uh, Uber Eats is going to be there giving away stuff. Uh, it's just going to be an awesome party. Uh, the weather's supposed to be a lot warmer at the end of this week. Um, but rain or, rain or shine, we're there. We're in the midst of it. And these eaters are just straight animals. And it's pure Delco style. We love it. Dude, Bunch of tan boners. Awesome. Bunch of awesome, tan boners. You have to send us some content. We'll, you know, share it with us. And we'll we'll get it I out will, there. Man. And Dude, we that's... love what you guys do. Sam Boner Nation is. And we talk about Delco being that cult. Sam Boner is a cult man that we we at Delco Steaks, we love you guys. We follow you guys. You guys have been doing awesome from the beginning, man. Just putting out small businesses. And you guys are true, man. You guys are – you're not from Delco, but at first when I – Mick, when I saw you, I'm like, this guy's got to be from Delco, man. <laughs> yeah, Dan, Danny so, from Angelo said the same exact thing when I was chopping it up with him and uh, Gargano that one day. He was like, wait, you're not from Delco? I'm like, nah, dude, I'm from Bucks County. I man. saw that every – yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, awesome. I appreciate it too because – you know, when, when we, we kind of had something going here and that pandemic hit, I do recall you guys opening and, and remember saying to myself, like, fuck, could you fucking pick a worse time to, to start a, a business when this pandemic hit? But then, like, the light bulbs went on for us. We had this thing that we created, this little lingo to take a look, take a bite. And we're like, well, let's go support these small businesses through these dying times. And, and here we are two years later. We got a podcast with Colin and the Not For Long Media team and you know, we're kicking, we're churning, man. We're still having fun doing it. It's awesome, man. Oh, well, yeah, dude. Dude, guys. really, really appreciate you coming on today. Good luck with your event on Friday. We'll have to, you know, break some bread uh, in the next week or two, grab a pint and just shoot the shit and, and think about other ways where we can continue to work together and continue to help one another. But, you know, awesome stuff, Steve, and really appreciate it. Love it, guys. You guys are the best. Always welcome here at Delco. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Honorary Delco of locals we are, Mick. We got to bring on Joe now, don't we? Yeah. Joe! What's up, guys? Thanks for having me on. Yeah, Joe's been buddy. hanging backstage, up, Mick. He's been hanging backstage. He's Jones in the go, baby. Sam Boner, Mick, Colin, it's nice to uh, nice to make your acquaintance, Colin. How you been, bud? Doing great, Joe. Thanks for joining us, man. Mick's Jack. Nah, I appreciate to have you. you guys having me on. I mean, I was listening to a lot of what Steve said. Um, you know, he represented Delco. Through and through, man. And, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of Delco Steaks. So uh, big, big credit to him. And, um, you know, he 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 said a lot of spots throughout Delco that uh, really do it well. You know, Pagano's, I grew up within walking distance of going there. I had friends that used to work there. Um, you know, that's one of the best spots around in Delco, for real. Yeah. So, Colin, just some context for you. Joe, Joe just Sambone, him and his daughter just Sambone at the Dairy Cottage. Put on an unbelievable Sam Boner debut. His daughter now has the Sam Boner bug, which is unbelievable. Yeah, uh, man. Joe has been a fan of the page. Joe, I'm going to throw you in like the top 200, first 200 followers. Joe's yeah, gonna... yeah, for sure. Um, I was I was in from the very get go. You know, Mick and his crew were kind of running with it, and um, you know, what really drew me to it was just uh the the the, the real genuine feel of of him and his whole. Of, of his buddies, you know, I have a, a similar kind of set a thing going on with like me and my buddies and um, the text thread. You're always talking about where you're doing a Sambo or a Sambone. So instantly I was like, you know, these, it just really uh, felt like the, um, I, I felt a, you know, a, a vibe to what they were doing. Uh, so been a long time fan of the Samboners. So, so yeah, I mean, you know, Mick and I touched base a long time ago. Got to know Mick. Um, and, you know, me and my daughter and, and even my wife, you know, that's what we do. You know, we go out through Adelco and even outside Adelco, wherever we're going, 
it's all about like where we're going to eat. You know, what are we going to do? Where are we going to eat? Um, so, so I took a huge liking to the Sambone uh, Colt, as Steve said it, because I think it's a big, I think it's for real, man. I, I'm, I'm a fan. Yeah. So, Joe, really appreciate you coming on. Appreciate all the kind words. Uh, Joe works for Foods Galore. Foods Galore Distribution is going to be putting on a very big food show coming up here on April 18th at Rivers Casino. Joe, can you talk to us a little bit about this uh, food event? What to expect? Yeah, are we sure. Going to, uh, are we going to need an Uber ride home? Uh, you know what? You know, it's it's a Tuesday. It's the middle of the day. We will be um we will be handing out and and, and uh, passing out the vibations. Uh, you know for sure. But um, you know, at the end of the day, um, it's a huge show that we put on. So Foods Galore is a is a broadline food distributor. Uh, we're out of West Hampton, New Jersey. Okay, we were in Pensalkin up until June of last year. Uh, I'm proud to say we just completed a move. Um, into a, a warehouse three times the size of what we were in um, to, to, to hold more capacity of what we're doing as a company. Um, so we're a broadline food distributor uh, that's been around since 1986. The company got its roots um, from three guys literally uh, buying and selling food off the back of their truck. Um, that is literally the, the company's roots. Um, those, those, those guys are still a part of the company. Uh, Mick, got, Mick got to meet a few of them when he came to check out the warehouse. Um, and now they have sons inheriting the company. Um, so, so it's, it's a family vibe throughout and through and through our whole company. Um, we're just regular guys, sports fans, um, just working hard to take care of our customers. Uh, just trying to make relationships with, with like-minded people who are creative and putting themselves out there and, and networking with the right people. And that's kind of how me and Mick got to, got to know each other. So, that's that's kind of a little bit about the company's history, but in in, in terms of the event in April, um, this is this isn't our first time we've done it. We've done it a number of times. Uh, we did it in 2016, 2018. We were all set to go in 2020, and then COVID hit. So um, you know that kind of put an end to, to that. But we did different events. We've done golf outings. Um, so this event in April on the 18th. Um, so we have 90 suppliers that come in. They're all suppliers that are top tier suppliers that we deal with. They come, they set up a booth, they, they, they cook food, they serve food all day. Um, we invite all of our customers, all of our prospective customers. Uh, it's free for them to come. All they need to do is register and we could, we could, we could say how they could do that too. Uh, but there's so much positivity throughout this event that we're really excited of. Number one, um, you know, in addition to you know, 90 suppliers being there, slinging all kinds of different um, foods, beverages, you name it. Um, the event is, is, is going to be sponsored by Anheuser-Busch. So they're going to be there giving out samples of, of Stella and all their products. That's really cool for us. Um, Mick, and, and Mick is going to be there, you know, part of Sam Boner Nation representing. Um, so he's going to be there getting to know people, mixing it up, chopping it up. Um, and, you know, and, and a really cool new element we brought into the mix this time around um, there's a, there's a charity called kisses for Kyle. Okay. And, uh, for every customer that comes, we're going to donate $10 to that charity and we're guaranteeing a minimum of $5,000 to that charity. So the charity is, uh, the sweet woman, Sharon Snyder, who founded it, um, tragically lost her son, I believe in 1998 to leukemia. All right. So she went through the whole the whole deal of, of being in the hospital and not being able to support and pay her bills. And when she got done that process, it was near and dear to her to start a foundation to help support families dealing with childhood cancer. And that's what she did. Um, and to this day, I think she rep, uh, she fully supports over 650 families of, of people dealing with childhood cancer. So we're thrilled that Sharon's going to be at our event. We're going to present her with a check live right in the middle of the show. Um, you know, it's, it's a, it's a real fun event. We have a DJ, we have an open bar. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a great vibe. You know, it's an upbeat. People are coming, they're checking out, um, our vendors. So it's a huge value for our customers and our prospective customers. Um, and then, you know, for our vendors, they get the network with our sales reps and our customers. So it's a great value for them. And for us, it really gives us exposure, you know, for people to see, what an independent distributor can do. You know, we compete against 
small time distributors and even the large the larger distributors as well. And once people get a get a feel for working with us and see the service we provide and um, over 4000 stocked items in our building and make us see in the warehouse. Um, normally, once we once once we get exposure to them, they start buying from us and, and they just become like family to us. That's yeah, awesome. Folks. Mick, That's how's awesome. that warehouse look, Mick? Yeah, no, they tried to freeze me out the one day I was in there with a couple Cowboys fans. <laughs> yeah, we got a couple of those in the warehouse. But well, look, we were playing, we were playing Ooh, fly yeah. equals fly over the uh, over the speaker all playoff long, man. You <laughs> you you better believe it. Joe, are Joe, are you living in Jersey? No, I I live in Delco. I'm I'm born and bred in Delco. I live in I grew up in Drexel Hill. I live I live in Springfield now. Perfect. All right, um, so. I was going to ask you, where, where do you like to sand bone around the office? Yeah, we're always looking for new places. And then where do you like to go in Delco? I mean, that's what we, like you heard, we're having yeah. an episode coming up here, man. We're, we need the ends. We need the spots. Yeah. I think you guys are going to be able to have a, uh, I mean, you're going to have your hands full. I mean, there's they're full ton. in terms of like around the office in West Hampton. Um, I probably can't give you too much there, honestly, <laughs> but, but I'm happy to, to speak on Delco. So, so Steve saw a lot of my thunder. He threw out some really good spots. There's a great spot, a sleeper spot that, that me and my family have been going through forever. Um, but I don't think anyone's ever sand bone. I might have to. It's called Johnny Paisano's on Baltimore Pike. I don't know if anyone's ever done it. They make a killer cheesesteak called the Steak Anthony. So it's not your typical cheesesteak. They mix in some prosciutto in there and some other stuff. It's phenomenal. The Steak Anthony from Johnny Paisano's. Paisano's. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Um you know, I did the same bone at Dairy Cottage. You know, that's two blocks from my house. So so my wife and daughter and I, you know, that's our kind of like our go-to. Um, outside of that, like in terms of pizza, pizza I, I grew up, you know, doing pikas. You know, like a lot of my memories as a kid, um, you know, the whole even like kind of going off on a tangent about the whole Sam Boner vibe. Everything you do, whether it's, you know, you're going out with buddies or taking a vacation or, or uh, you know, whether it's like a reunion or, or, a, or, a, or a baptism, you know, the, the thing that everyone is kind of asking is, where are we getting food from? You know, my family was, where are we getting pizzas, cheesesteaks, and hoagies? You know, and for us, it was like Severa's Deli, Pagano's, um, Pika's Pizza, you name it. I mean, my dad, he, he, he works in media. So every Friday night, he would bring home uh, Apollo pizza. You know, that was our thing. And I'm not I'm not saying it was one of my favorites, but that was that was his deal. He would bring Paula home. Um, I don't even know if it's still there, but uh, I would say Severa's Deli, Gems Deli, Dairy Cottage, Bella Roma, huge sleeper for for wings for, for me and my wife. We love getting uh, just their buffalo wings from Bella Roma right on Woodland Avenue. Um, breakfast spot, Tank and Libby's all day long. I don't know if you guys have heard about Tank and Libby's. Um, you will not be disappointed if you ever get back at the breakfast month. That's just that's just one of a few, man. I could probably go on all day, but uh, you probably could. I was talking to Colin about this earlier. I mean, there's just something about Delco, and it's just it's gigantic. First of all, there's all these small little just towns throughout that the you know, families cater to, right? That Friday night, it's all about food and family and where are we ordering. Right. And yeah, man, I, I can't stop my daughter from wanting to do yeah. Sambone videos now all the time. It's crazy. Yeah. I swear that would be her, her and her, her and her best friend, Lila. They, they wanted to do it. And I, who am I to stop them? You know, they're part of the movement now. Um, well, I think awesome. you guys are, I, you know, congratulations on the LLC, Mick. I'm, I'm super, super excited for what you guys are going to do. Um, I would say Sam Boner Nation is, is probably uh, just getting started. I really believe that. You know, I think you guys got got a great thing going on here. Anybody can do it. You know, anyone could just throw on the video, do a Sam Bone, send it to Mick, post it on their own page, um, and they're a Sam Boner. So, you know, I'm, I'm all in. <laughs> I love well, it. Well, you're all – we're all Sam Boners, whether you can get on camera or you don't. You know, if you like to compete or you like to just pick up your favorite and talk about it, makes you a Sam Boner. Joe, this has been great, man. I really appreciate you coming on today. Can't wait. To yeah, can't wait for the show, Mick. Like I said, um, April 18th, you know, the event, you know, for your audience, everybody knows somebody working at a restaurant, owns a restaurant, manages a restaurant. You know, I guarantee every single one of your audience knows someone that that this event is for them. Um, it's not open to the public. 
But, you know, anyone who works at, manages, owns or operates a restaurant, deli, pizza shop, diner, you name it, they're invited. It's free for them to come. Come have a great time. Meet Sam Boner Mick, who's going to be uh, right ready to rock. You know, kisses for Kyle. Uh, come make a donation. <laughs> we can't wait to host you, man, and have a good time with it. Awesome, Joe. Look forward to it. Really appreciate you jumping on today. We'll uh, we'll catch up soon. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for having me on. Thank, Thank you, Joe. Man. Have a great day, buddy. Good job, buddy. Always good stuff, man. Yeah, a family Always guy good. at heart, man. Joe's the man. Yeah. I mean, it's great. They're doing it for a great cause. Anything to do with you know cancer. This God. is for Kyle. Check them yeah, out. Man. That's a check them man. out. You know, I'll tell you this. Talking about checking out, dude. <laughs> is Brody Brothers open in Seattle? I don't know if they're open yet. <sighs> Should be. No. Now, you know, I mean, Joey, like, uh, there's all those other places, like, you know, like, we talk about Joey's Pizza all the time. Like, why don't these places, they're so good at what they do. Why don't they, like, bring a place, a reverse engineer it, bring a place down the shore? Like, oh, <laughs> there's room for it. Like, you know, they, they brought it up, like, oh, we, we just opened up a cheesesteak place here. We just don't, Like, who cares, right? We do it different than you, right? There's people that are going to go to your place. There's people that are going to go to our place and vice versa, right? Bring all I really firmly do I'm sorry. I really firmly believe, Mick, that's how small businesses. I've been around some small business owners, bar owners that just are like constantly looking over their shoulder. It's like, bro, your your place is packed. Like, wait, what? <laughs> like, yeah. you're worried about someone? You That's the best part. People want to be in towns where they have options and then they choose the two or three best ones they want to go to. Rarely, you're going to a place that just has one or two spots. Is It's not that fun, not that right. appealing to the masses. So. I love it. It was great. I mean, they were two tremendous guests today. And that's like a perfect example. I live in Ambler, PA. Uh, there's bars up and down the entire strip. Yeah. Right? Like my buddy opened that bar across the street from Casey's Alley, and there's a steakhouse right next to that. Like everybody's just rock and roll and in and out, you know? It's all good, man. You you yeah, won man. that friendly, fun competition. Joey's Pizza is on the real. I, I can't wait to get to freaking Brody Bros. I mean, you do that video 48 hours later, they're out of bread. You know, I. I'm excited for it. I really am. And I'm excited for the – we got a lot yeah, going Barstool, on. I just looked on a, a bracket, dude. Barstool Philly. Speaking of brackets, I hope you're still alive. But Barstool Philly oh, yeah. Houston has Berardi Brothers ranked 16 in a play-in game. I just texted him. I'm like, dude, that might be like a top five cheesesteak in the entire state of Pennsylvania. They're a play-in 16 seed? Like, get your shit together. So we're doing our own March Madness bracket next year, Mick. Like, oh, it's yeah. great. It's awesome what Barstool's doing. Like, good for them, man. They're smart. They're doing a great job. They're featuring small business. Killer. But you know what? I'm putting my foot down, Mickey. We're doing our own. We're doing a yeah, Sam owner. Because we're doing the God's work. And and Barstool's giving it their best shot. They, they have some Philly guys that are on their work, work at stool. They 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 have a bunch of Philly ties. They have their own place here. They've done the Angelos. They've, so that's great. But I think, I think we need to make it be God's work. Take it to the street, baby. We're on the street. We're pounding the pavement, <laughs> especially in that freaking that area. I mean, like you said about Delco, people go on and on about it. Listen, folks, it's going to be multiple Delco episodes. The best yeah, part about it is we're going to be wrong. We're going to miss some. That's fine. I gotta go. I gotta meet. I gotta meet Dan the Killer Kennedy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eight cheese steaks. Are you kidding me? Oh my that guy God. is a Sam Boner. Holy cow. There you go. There you we go. need him to Sam Bona while he's doing it. Yeah, that's it. I have to look him up. But no, nah, man, this has been good. Nice little recap. Uh, two weeks left in Cheesesteak Month. Good to get Steve on. Good to get Joe on. Big event Friday, Sam Bone, Sam Bone Nation. Hope everybody can make it out. Colin and I, the rest of the Sam Boner crew, look forward to meeting you. We're going to keep this rolling. Let the good times roll. That's right, man. And remember, folks, everything we do here at Not For Long Media and the Sam Boner Show is brought to you by friends over at Fudge Kitchen, fudgekitchens.com. Jersey Shore folks, they know it. If you can't get it, they'll ship it to you, fudgekitchens.com. So excited for what's to come this weekend, too, like you, Mick. Stay tuned for all the material we're going to be ripping out of there and then a Delco episode next week. So just a jam-packed month and then cutlet month next week's coming quicker next month than you think <laughs> next week. Holy cow. Mick, how about we have salad month? Jesus Oh, yeah, guys, uh, have a even it. Screw it. Hit that bag. Yeah, that's All right. right. Every, thank you very much for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you on Friday. All right, guys. Sam Boner out. Sam Boner out.